Well, since it had to be delivered, the course had to be delivered via VLE anyway, um, we were quite excited about being part of the pilot, okay. trying it out, and also because we knew we would have to switch anyway, yeah. it wouldn't have made sense to go on city space for half a year yeah. and then switch to Moodle. So it was quite exciting. And of course, the good thing about the pilot was um, that we had all the attention and all the technical yes. support and the support from Anna, yeah. which is really crucial. Yes, I think there are two aspects, really. One is the ease of use in general, and I think it, it, it is really quite straightforward once you've got the basics. And the students find it quite easy to use as well once they are over the initial shock of yeah. starting a distance course and the technology and everything. Um, there are a couple of aspects which are a bit more complicated and time-consuming. Um, one is when you have to change something in the material because you can't change it in Moodle itself, okay. so you have to take down the documents okay. and put new documents on. And because this is a brand new course and obviously some of the things need changing, I've had to spend quite a bit of time okay. on this. I mean, it took them a little while to get used to it, but I have to say that's partly due to the fact that the lead-in time was so short. Yeah. I think with induction, it will be much easier for them. Um, but from the informal and also formal feedback, we know that they enjoy working with Moodle okay. and they use the forums. And um, once they're used to it, they find it easy to use as well because it is straightforward. Yeah. Well, that the students enjoy it. Yeah. Because if they didn't, they'd kind of be beside the point. And the other things that are really, really nice about it are that it's quite straightforward to put in links to YouTube, for example, and to put up recordings of webinars. Mm. So that kind of multimedia aspect is excellent. We've decided to change a little bit of the sequence of the theory module, which means, of course, because the first intake is still finishing, um, Anna has now mm. created uh, the structure for the second intake. But of course, because we've changed a few things and also because uh, Obviously, course material. Some of the course material contain dates. Get face-to-face -face training. Although I, I think people who are based at the university will get that anyway. Obviously, with visiting lecturers, it's a little bit more difficult. So anybody who's teaching a course completely by distance, I think, has has to make sure that as much information goes out to people as possible. Um, because obviously if you run a course like that, all the queries will come back to you. Mm. So I, I think you need uh, to allow time for that. Mm.